running these up short ways. Cool mo D. Cool mo D. One, two, three, four. Maybe tunnel in the van and huh? I said maybe tunnel in the van had so much stuff I was like, ooh. Alright, so we got this is the piece that we had halfway done. We got this completely finished up all over here. And we got these all measured up. You see all these piles of carpet that we got here. These are for all of these steps. One, two, three, and four sets of steps over there. Um, I actually had Kurt come over, the store owner, to let him say, yes, let's run it this way. Because it was kind of crazy. I, I'll tell you what, to keep the pattern right, Actually, it wouldn't have been no big deal at all. But, boy, it would have took a lot of material. I'll tell you what. So check this out. To keep this pattern right here, you see how that's running right up. He didn't have enough carpet. He got way more than enough carpet for what he needed just to put them on. But to keep the pattern right and all that stuff, no. These steps right here, would have been nine foot of carpet a piece to keep this pattern right running up the steps. He didn't want to do that. So, and over here, now these are five foot a piece. And these over here, they was going to take six foot, about six and a half foot of carpet, I believe is what I had figured. Oh, six, six wide but six foot depth. It would have took six foot of carpet to do each one of these steps. Now they're taking three foot, nine inches. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have them directly run uh, where the pile comes over the step straight like that. So the steps are actually gonna be put on this direction at that angle which is right opposite of the angle of this carpet. So I uh, talked to the principal and the man that is over this little uh, project here for the school, because they was in here when I started measuring, and he's like, well, Kurt had a method to it whenever he measured it all up, so just whatever he says will be fine. And that's what he said, so this is the same thing you see how this pattern is running this way these are going to come straight down over that so it's actually going to be at an angle that way so almost a complete catty corner of that all of these steps are going to be that way even these over here these are even at an angle they're going to be let me zoom out here a little bit. These are going to be straight down, so they're going to be running at an angle like this. This is how they're going to be. You can see these steps are straight, so you can see how much of an angle right there. See my finger, the angle of my finger? That's how much of an angle these steps are going to be set at. So, anyway. We got... Everything measured, literally everything measured and got it figured out how we're gonna do everything and all that kind of stuff. We got all the steps cut. We finished it, all of this. Uh, really happy with the way all this trim and stuff turned out. Everything was really nice and straight and all that stuff looks really good. Um, I run a pop line, a chalk line over here. I got this all cleaned up and I washed the concrete. That's what this rag is, it's a wet rag. I washed all the concrete here before I put my booger tape down. And all of this is, we popped a line from here. Boom, 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 boom. And where it hit, oops, sorry. Where it hit 
the top of each one of those steps. That was our mark for the back of the tape. So we got a perfectly crisp line on both sides here. So that's gonna look nice and straight when we get our transitions down. Over here, uh, we already got our transitions cut and installed over here. We got some floor patch done over here. What I did do, I seen over there, and I'll show you guys something here in just a minute. Um, I, I got my transitions put down now and I got them covered up with painter's tape. I've done that because once you put your transitions down and your carpet's laying over top of them, it sure marks it up. So I, I, I put my transitions down so that they're ready. Oh yeah. So this is how they're doing it too. We're not doing anything on the front of the riser right there, okay? Simply transition here, nothing, and then it meets back up here. Transition here, nothing on the riser, and then it meets back up right there. We're not doing anything on the riser. So uh, that's what they had before. Kurt pulled up pictures and said, we looked at it and they didn't have anything there before. And I was like, well, I will seal it up uh, so that the carpet just don't raffle because in the pictures that he had, the carpet was all raveled up right there. So um, we talked about running it over the lip like this. And he's like, well, over time, I'm afraid it's going to try to raise up right here from being bent. I said, well, we can heat it up. And I, I took a piece. I actually took a piece. I didn't heat it, but I just carved out the back of it so it would be thinner right there. And I actually carved off the bottom piece here, took that off, and I took some of the thickness off the bottom there. And it actually bent okay, but he was afraid that over time that may try to lift and then cause a, a trip hazard and then... Uh, get kicked up and tore up because it is lifting up. That was his thought. So he decided we're not going to do anything on the risers, simply right there. That's how they had it before, and that's how I want to do it. So that's what he said. So that's how we're going to do it. Anyway, uh, oh, what I showed you. See, this ain't that bad. Look at these. Ain't nothing going on there. These are all nice and pretty, but watch this over here where that was down for a while. I'll show you something. These got pretty buggered up. I was not happy with that at all, but uh, I wasn't trying to. So look at this. Mm, oops. See that up close? Do not like that at all. Golly, you can't see it until you get way down here on it, and it'll look like that no time anyway, but I don't like it looking like that because of something I did. I don't like that at all, so we started protecting it. This was the last one we left unprotected when I seen it right here right here on my very next piece we protected it so look down here now you can see the difference here see that that's how it should be not well I must have started taping up there not like that that looks rough and you'll see now there we go so obviously there's a carpet seam somewhere in here because right where it seemed the carpet, I started protecting it when I, before I put my next piece down. And you can see, uh, where's that roughness? And then it starts getting nice right in here somewhere. So there's a carpet seam somewhere right in here. But anyway, definitely got to protect that stuff if you're going to have it down first. All right. So, uh, hopefully we can get a lot of this little nitpicking stuff done tomorrow. Get all these steps done. Anyway, if we get all those steps done, I'll be happy. I went and bought paint brushes 
And I am going to use contact cement on the front of those risers and probably an inch over onto the tread itself. So uh, we're not going to do any messing around. I'll have Luke glue them. I'm going to glue all the risers and the carpet. I'll glue, oops, glue all the risers and about an inch up. Glue the riser about an inch up. Glue the riser and about an inch up before I even do anything with the top of that. Then I will stick my carpet and I'll just let it dangle or hang or whatever here and then glue it. I'll get into all that tomorrow. Anyway. Thank you guys once again for tuning in to the Daily Grind. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.